Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you know, I speed up my videos a little bit, so we're gonna get right into the colors. Ta-da! And uh, I'm also using a titanium white cloud mix, but all the mixes, all the colors will be in the description box below. So we're gonna start layering the cup. Um, this is Permanent Violet by Liquitex. The magenta, Quinacridone magenta is by Liquitex. There's the Titanium White and Vallejo Pearl Medium Cloud Mix. And then this is Metallic Cobalt by Artist Loft. I love that color, it's so pretty. It's more of a teal in my opinion. So, then I'm gonna go back to the Permanent Violet, the Cloud Mix, and I'm gonna end with the Magenta. I didn't really want to end with Magenta, but I was already at my max paint amount that I needed for this 12 inch, um, di uh, 12 inch um, diameter uh, wood round. Hoi, that was tough to get out. So yeah, as some of you might have noticed, I'm gonna be doing another um, cloud pour. And I'm just on a kick right now. I'm loving the way clouds are. They just make me happy right now. And I think, you know what? Right now, paint what you want to paint, for crying out loud. It's just terrible out there. You know, not to get too deep into it, but, you know, the Ukraine stuff, it's just, it's breaking my heart. But, um, so yeah, paint what you love. Paint what makes you happy right now. Just be grateful for everything that you have, you know? So yeah, I did um, a little bit of a twist on this piece. Um, I feel like I haven't been committing to the twisting, you know, the wrist twist with my cloud pours lately. So I need to do that a little bit more. Um, like Krista, Krista Rasmussen, um, the creator of Mix Pouring Medium, which is an awesome product. I mean, she, her twists and her straight pours are so good. She like really gets in there and does it. And funny enough, the next cloud pour I'm gonna be doing is with Mix. It's gonna be with Mix Pouring Medium. It's just so fun to do with cloud pours and it's been such a long time since I've done them. And I'm gonna be using this little piggy pigments in the cloud pour as well. So the paint's back there mixed. It's been sitting for days. And uh, just to make sure those bubbles get out of there. And um, yeah, so probably tomorrow I'll, I'll do that piece. So yeah, so right now I'm just laying a down flow extend, laying down flow extender. I probably didn't really need to do this, but I like to lay it down just so, you know, what I've poured out of my cup doesn't roll over itself. Because sometimes that drives me a little crazy because I'm like, well, I just lost part of that design. You know, I want to be able to at least look at it and, and, and maybe decide what I want to go, if that makes sense. But this is on a little turntable, so, or spinner. Yeah, cloud pours right now. I'm just loving them. I'm just loving them and, and you know, I can blame that on uh, another artist, a friend, her name is Carol, and she's on Instagram, and I'm gonna link her Instagram profile below, but her cloud pours are epic. I mean, sh uh, I just can't. Her work is so stunning, and she's just the sweetest, and, um, you know, just totally inspired by her, and, and um, we're total art buddies now. <laughs> talking about cloud pours and trying new things. And she also loves the color pink, which I don't really like the color pink, but I'm trying to use more pink. You know, she's totally inspired me in that sense to use more pink, you know, and um, learn to appreciate it a little bit more. And um, yeah, so. Anywho, I loved the initial, you know, pour out of this. Um, but I'm going to shut up here in just a minute because you're going to see me spin this a lot. You're going to see me tilt this a lot. Like I'm trying to figure out 
what to get rid of, what to keep, if I should just keep spinning it and let everything kind of flow off at the same rate, you know? Um, so yeah, hang in with me if you want to watch me spin this bad boy out and tilt and contemplate and all that stuff. And I will be back in just a little bit. All right. Hey guys, I'm back. Yeah, so did I lie? I mean, I was spinning this thing a lot. I was, I was just really torn with that bottom bit right there. That it, it just got a little too pastel looking for me and I loved that dark, dark, dark purple up above. So inevitably, um, I pretty much leave it like this. Oh, but as I turn the camera off, like for the main, you know, section where I actually paint, I did tilt that light blue, light purpley area right there at the bottom. I did tilt it off a little bit more. Um, I would have actually liked to tilt most of it off, but um, then my purple would have stretched too far at the top. So here's the um, up close of this guy. Love the lines, love that cobalt metallic cobalt which as i said to me is very turquoisey so this gives me like you know um peacock feather vibes in the center i really like how it turned out
Yeah, see that, that purple stretched and I got the banding. Oh, those are cool cells. I love those. They have that cobalt in there. But I got those those bands in the purple and I was like, I cannot stretch this out anymore because I don't want them to break up too much. So yeah, that's the section right down there at the bottom. Um, the kind of soft water look. I'm, I'm actually glad I tilted it off a little bit more. So that's what you're seeing. I didn't do a great job videoing that. So here's some stills. But you guys, let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And again, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Have a wonderful day and just be grateful. Thanks.